What's up everyone? Plan Designer for Power Apps is here and I'm gonna show you what you can do with it and how to use it. Plan Designer is a brand new AI powered experience for us to use in Power Apps. We've had the ability for a while to use a prompt to build a Canvas application, but what Plan Designer is doing is allowing you to step back at a higher level view of your entire process. So rather than focusing on just a singular Canvas application, you can put in workflow diagrams for the process that you're trying to automate. You can put in maybe a screenshot of an old application that you're trying to modernize in Power Apps and put that in via a prompt and have that spit out a plan. And this plan is comprised of a few different things. It's going to generate user stories. And more importantly, it's going to think about it in terms of a solution rather than a singular app. We might need a Canvas application and a model-driven app and some Power Automate workflows to go along with it to really complete the process. So that's what Plan Designer does for us, is it gives us that thousand foot view of the entire process and helps us plan for that and decide what to build using AI. Now, at the time of this video, this is something that's only available in US preview environments and you have to have that toggle on to get new features early. So it needs to be in the early release cycle. And in your environment, you want to make sure that this toggle for try the new Power Apps experience is turned on to be able to use this. And you'll notice we have a new tab in the left rail of make.powerapps.com for plants. And this is where you can go to see all of your existing plants and create a new plan. So I wanna build an application for my band. In my spare time, I have a band and we need to be able to manage the gigs that we're gonna be playing, maybe some set lists, different venues that we play at and contacts for those venues. So I wanna create a Power App solution for me to manage all of this. To think through the process, I've already created this visual diagram of the key things that I need. And then I specified what I need to do within each of those. So I can take this as a basis to feed into Plan Designer with a prompt to be able to build out this entire solution. And this is something that probably isn't just a single Canvas app. I might need a few different things to be able to really build this out into a scalable application and Plan Designer will help me with that. So I'll go back to make.powerapps.com and I'll start by creating a new plan. So I'm going to put in a prompt here that I want to build a solution to help manage my band. I want to manage set list, gigs, lyrics, venues, and contacts. Then I'm going to select this plus button so I can reference that diagram that we were just looking at. So there's my mind map. So I'm going to click and upload that. And now it will be able to reference that when it's building out this plan for me. I could upload multiple files here. So if I had say a workflow diagram or if I had an existing application that I wanted to reference, I can upload screenshots of that. So it can handle multiple files as well. But at this point, I'm going to click generate and it's going to start creating the plan for me. Now, the first thing it's doing is based off my prompt, it's going to restate the business problem. Then it's going to start defining the user roles, which is what you're seeing now. So for user roles, we're going to have a band member that would use it and it's going to specify what the band member might do. So they're going to create set list, edit, edit lyrics, view upcoming gigs, view past gigs, create set list and gig notes. Then we have the band manager, which is the other primary role here that it's defined. So that person would be responsible for managing the different venues, the contacts with those venues and all the gigs. And this is really accurate for what I'm trying to build here when I think about user roles. I need all the band members to have access and to be able to do their basic stuff. And I need me to be able to do all the management. And we can see it's referenced that diagram that I've added here. And this is the first part of the plan. So at any time, if any of this information isn't exactly how I think it should be, I could change it. So if I click change here, I can put in another prompt to define exactly what I want to change for each of these user roles. So maybe for the band member role, I want to be able to add the ability for them to rate a venue. So we know if they liked playing at that venue or not. So I'll put in that prompt and it will modify the user role for me. And if I'm happy with that, I can keep it and accept these user roles. Now it'll move on to the next phase of building the plan. And that is all about identifying the backend data that we need for this solution. When you're using Plan Designer, it's going to leverage Dataverse and suggest the different Dataverse tables that you'll need to store your data. And that's exactly what it's did here. If we look on the right hand side here, we can see all of the different data that it suggested. So it's saying we'll need a table for band member, band manager, set list, lyrics, gig, venue, and contacts. If I wanna see more, I can click this show details and it will take me to an expanded view where I can see the relationships between these individual tables and the different columns in each table. 
So I can tell that it successfully mapped a gig to a particular venue and a set list, and it has the date and time and notes and other relevant information I might need. It's mapping the lyrics and the set list to a particular band member, so we can each have our individual set list and lyrics that we store, and the contact to the venue. So I can just verify that everything looks good here, and then I can go back, and if it does, I can click accept. If I wanna make changes, same process, I can click change and make any updates there. But this looks good to me, so I'm going to accept this and move on to the next step. So this is where it starts identifying what user experiences you need. So we have our user stories, our data, now it's recommending the different apps and automations that we need. So if we look at what is created here, it's suggesting that we need a Canvas application for the set list management for band members, another Canvas app for lyrics, one for managing gigs, a model-driven app for venue management, contact management, and gig management, and a flow to handle the reporting. So you can tell this is very helpful as far as getting you to think about the overall process and user stories and data structure, but you're also going to need to use your judgment here. For example, do I really want separate model-driven applications for all these management functions, or can that be accomplished in one? So I might want to make a change at this point. So I can click on the change button and describe what I want to change. So I might ask it to merge the venue contact in gig scheduling model-driven apps into one application and I'll send in that prompt. Great, so now it's updated that and we have one band management application that would allow us to do all of that backend stuff. So I'll keep those changes. And another thing when you're looking at these user experiences is you can hover over this information icon and that will give you more info about what user role this maps to. So we can see this is mapping to the band member role and it's using these particular data tables. So if we go over to the model-driven app, we'll see that's mapping to the band manager user role. So I'm gonna actually make one more change here. And similar to what we did with the model-driven app, I'm gonna ask it to merge these three Canvas applications because they can all be in one single app. All right, so it's mapped to that band member role and we have all of our different data sources there. So now we have a Canvas app, a model-driven app, and a flow. Now I'm gonna keep that and we're just going to accept these user experiences. And now we have our completed plan. So I could save this, and this will save all of this into a solution for me. Now we can click on the advanced tab and we can change the default publisher here. Or if we had an existing solution we wanted this to be a part of, we could select that here as well. But I'm gonna have it create a new solution and just use the default publisher, so I'll click save. So any plan that you create will be a part of a solution. Now that I've saved this plan, I can reference it at any time and I can use it to help create these assets. So if I want Plan Designer to actually go and provision this Canvas app for me, all I have to do is click on this plus button and you'll see it's letting me know that before I can actually create the Canvas app, it needs to create the underlying tables. So right now, all we have did is save the plan, which has the user stories and the recommendations for the tables and the different user experiences, but it hasn't actually created those assets for us. So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna ask it to save the tables and it will go and provision all of these different Dataverse tables. So we can see a real-time status of what's happening here as it's saving all these individual tables for us. So we'll just give this some time to run and then we can go back and have it provision the different user experiences. All right, so we see everything was created for us. So that is the power of Plan Designer. We just put in what we wanna build. It helps us plan out the user stories, think of it at a high level, and goes into the nitty gritty details of the data and all the columns we need and creates it for us with one click. Now we're ready to start creating these user experiences. So I'll move back up. I'll click this plus button again on the band management Canvas application, and it's gonna route me right to Power Apps. So it's given us a landing page. I can go into set list. I can see all the sample data that it's added with all the information there. And I have a nice way to navigate between each of these different tables. Of course, we can make some changes and tweaks to this, but we'll save this for now and we'll have it help us create the model driven app next. Now we'll click on that plus button next to the model driven app and it's going to do its magic again here. It's checking all the tables that I just created for us so that it can reference those here in the model driven application. All right, and there you have it. It's created a model-driven app for us. You can look at the app here. We see we have a way to manage the band managers, venues, contacts, and gigs. Now I can just publish that and make it available to everyone to start using. Now you might be wondering, what about that flow? Well, at the current time of this video, it's not supported to create the flows for you. So it's going to recommend that you need a flow to be able to automate reporting, but it can't actually provision that for you yet. 
But as it says, keep checking back for future updates to see when that will be supported. So we have our applications created for us, we have our data created for us, and we have this plan. So let's just go back and see where this plan will live. So we'll go back to make.pyrapps.com. And now in this plan tab, you'll see the band management hub plan that we just worked on. So these plans are living, breathing artifacts. So we can go back into them at any time. So I can click back into this and reference the information in the plan. And as I mentioned, this does add everything to a solution. So if we go back to our solutions tab, we should see our band management solution right here and all the artifacts in that. So the plan itself is an artifact. So you'll see a new type here of plan artifact that you can reference. So there's a plan itself. And here's our canvas application, the table, site maps, and all of that. So if we were to go and manually build out that Power Automate piece, we would just come to our solution and add a new automation here. So that's plan designer in a nutshell, and hopefully you can see the massive potential of this and how it can help you build Power Platform solutions. This is really the next evolution of how AI can help us build solutions and start thinking about them from a higher level. So I really hope you do give it a try with your different processes and see what you think. If you do try it, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And as this continues to evolve, you know that I'll be here doing more videos to keep you updated on the latest innovations here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.